Sit side looks trash. Huh? It's Phil. Phil, you can hear me, right? Good evening, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages. We are here at the AZF Gym in Brockton, Massachusetts for the matchup between the Brockton Boxers and the BC High Eagles. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Brazil, alongside with my pair, Nathan Destouche. You know, BC High is coming off a win against South Boston, and Brockton is coming off a blowout with victory over Weston. But Brockton High did lose the last time they were here, and how did they rebound from that last home loss on um, Nathan Destouche? How did they rebound? Their yeah, last game, they had a lot of they had a lot of defensive problems in the second half. So hopefully they can come back with so hopefully they can come back with some good defense and they can get a win. They can get a win today. All right, let's see if that happens. Indeed. BC high and black and Brock in the white. Now here's Jason Starks, Sonny and Kula, deflected. Looks like the Brockton Box. They're gonna play physical today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are gonna play physical. They they sort of let up that last home game against um, St. John's. Yeah, they need to play physical this time if they want to get a win. Nice passing by Brockton, and that'll go the other way. Wonder which team's gonna get the first few points to start off this game. Gavin Lennard misses the shot. Another three for BC High. That one will connect, and that was... That's a good one. That's, a good, that's actually a two. Oh, it was actually a two, and yes. that's Kyle Peterson. There's Sonny Akuna with the shot. It was a good rebound by Roxers. They kept them open for that two. They need to, they need to start getting more on defense again. Thank God it wasn't a three, though. A nice pass. A good block. What a rejection block. by Noah Navon Reed. Navon did good last game too. He had some good offensive. He had some good offensive skill last time. Yes. Now here's Todd Robinson controlling the point guard position.
and trying to get some space. Okunla with the take. He'll miss it. BC High trying to get some space. Stolen, stolen by Navon Reed. Here's Navon Reed. Todd Robinson will take the deep three. No good. The boxers seem to be a little off it right now. Yeah, they look a little dis discombobulated to me too. But it's only 2-0, so I don't think they need to worry just yet. Yeah, it's still very early, obviously. Yeah. There's Todd Robinson. Take. Here's rebound a shot by Navon Reed. Open. No good. And a rebound. Rebound. Jason Starks with three. No good. And that's a three. That's a, that's a good shot. A, another three for BC. Another shot for BC High. As they jumped out to a quick 5-0 lead with about 5.20 remaining in the first quarter. A nice fake by Nkula. Todd Robinson on this eight, no good. Deep two, no good. Box need to get some points this time. In order for them to stay in this game. Yes. Starks steps out of bounds. Starks missed a lot of threes last game. He needs to start. He needs to start getting them in this time. So Brockton go with going to the a fresh set of players. The only, one, the only one that stays in is Sonny Okula. Coach Bowen did not like what he saw early in that first quarter. That could be good for this team, especially. And now Zenden's in the game, too. Zenden had a good game last time. Stolen by Okula. Now here's Diamond Blakely. The Santos for three. No good. Brockton start the game missing all of their baskets. They're not getting what they want. There you go. A badly missed shot by Noah Roth Rothaller. Diamond Bakley draws the foul on the other side. Brockton needs to get these two free throws in, but BC High, they had, they're playing tremendous defense right now. They're doing very good right now, but they really need to start getting through as the boxers try to get back to what, to get back to what they were trying to get to. Boxers looking to get this free throw. Doesn't get the first one. Tajan Silva checks in for a sunny. Here's Blakely's second attempt. He'll get that one. Now it's 5-1. DCI gonna look to create some space. And it's a travel. As Tajan Silva misses the take. That's Zendin Carrera. With the put back layup. Zendin Carrera cuts the lead to two. A foul on the player. Brockton a little looking a little shocked. The boxers aren't happy with that. Did look like a clean foul. Come on, guys. 
BCI looking to take one or two free throws. He doesn't get it. Corey, Corey Reynolds finish, misses his first attempt from the line. And Nathan, Trenton Biddle, number 20. What do you, you want to see from him? I, need to, I hope to see a lot from him because he is a strong finisher. He's a strong finisher in the paint, so I hope that he does some... I hope he does some outstanding work here in this game. All right, all right. That was a good hustle by Zenden. And Boxers are struggling to get an inbound in. There's Blakely for three. No good. The boxes need to start getting these threes in if they want to stay in this game. Most certainly. And here's a three from BC High. That's good. And that's another three that BC High has taken that they're doing very good at from the outside. BC High in the two three zone. Here's Biddle. And there we go with a three right back at him. Biddle for three. Exactly what Brockton needed. Stolen by Tasia Silva. Here's Silva. He'll take Strong it all the way. Strong finish. Leeds cut down the one. Leeds. With about two minutes left in the first quarter. Here's a, here's a floater. That floater was good by Corey Reynolds. Zenin Carrera trapped. Marquise De Santos on the step back three. No good. There's Tejan. And he's fouled. Oh, and that's a foul. He's going to go to the line. I like those threes that, that the boxes and BCI just exchanged right there. That was some good back to back threes. What about what about the bullet? That was a good, yeah, a good, and plus that steal and bucket, that was good. The boxers are doing very good right now. That they're doing better on defense too. Hopefully they can keep doing that in this game. As Tajan Silva um, sinks the um, free throw, what do you like about his aggression? He's doing so good. Yeah, he's doing good right now. They need to keep him in the game for as long as they can, and hopefully the boxers they can get everything they need. Tajan Silva one. makes both of his free throws. And a little confusion on the court. Boxers are trying to make a sub and there was a lot of, a lot of confusion, frustration. Frustration from Coach Bowen. Here's the five, six point guard from from BCI, Gary Pache. Ooh, and a and good a, block by Zenden. And a, and a terrific block by Zenden Carrera. Zenden Carrera's length is just so un, un, indescribable. Can you just talk about it for me? Yeah, it's very indescribable. Especially for his age. Yeah, you can't even you can't even talk about it. It's just very good, it's just very good length. It was a good block. Stolen by Diamond Blakely. Right here's Todd Robinson. That was a good floater by VCI. Here's Todd Robinson. Jason Starks causes a turnover. A BC high, nice offensive transition. 
stolen by Todd Robinson. Fox is looking to create space. Sonny with the shot, and he gets it. That was a tough shot. A high arcing three. That was a tough shot the BCI just took. But that was a, a good block from the other side by Zendin Correa. That was good. His arm length really does come in handy for the boxers. A one-point lead for the boxers with about 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The double on Todd Robinson against the 2-3 zone to Akunla and Hilt. And there's a foul. Foul on the play. Sonny goes to the line to take his two free throws. And he sinks the first one. Cool. Akula gets his second. That was good. He has four points so far in the game, and the half-court shot is no good. And the first quarter is through. Yeah, the boxers with a one-point lead. What did you think about the, um, the, equ the, the equal balance between the two teams? Yeah, that was, good. that was a good first quarter. The boxers got a, the boxers got a block by Zinden Correa. They had back-to-back -back threes. The boxers are looking, trying to respond quickly as possible to the Eagles. And they did it. Right now, they're up by one, so... Hopefully they can come back in the second quarter and do some more. What do the boxers have to do to run away with this one? Because this one could seem like it could be a, an exciting game. What it's, do they have to do to run away with it? It's all about their defense because that's what they messed up last, in their last home game. That's how they lost. So they need to just have some good defense and they just need to get it through. All right. Both coaches are talking it through to make sure that they're ready for the second quarter. It'll be Brockton Ball. Sunny will take a three. No good. It was bold move by Sonny. VC High trying to execute on their offense, and that shot, a wild shot, and it misses. Sonny running it up. Akula with the aggressive take. That's good. And Sonny gets it. Sonny's confidence is sky high right now. It looks to be. The basket will not count. But he does take, but he does go for two at the line. I think Sonny's doing very good. His confidence is really nice right now. He took a three, he didn't get it in, but then he comes back with a nice layup. That's what I like about Sonny and Kula. Rebounded by Navon Reed. Here's Navon. That one's going the other way. As, no, excuse me, a, a foul against BC High. Navon looking to take his first shot at the free throw line. And it goes in. Navon gets his first basket. Looks to take the second one. He got sinks it. both of them. The box is now with a five point lead. Yeah. 
Nice pickup by Sonny Akula. He wants it. He wants it. <laughs> the crowd is loving Double it. Double team. Nice. Good defense by the boxers. A beautiful deflection from Todd Robinson. Now Brock Naha seems like they're, they're kind of into the game now. They were yeah. a little sleepy earlier. Yeah, they really do. They need that. Some good lockdown defense. Nine on the shot clock. BC High will take the shot. He'll miss it. And they get the floater. The floater is good by Gavin Lennard. Sonny oh, Kulik with another three. three. He'll and get he it. gets it. Oh, Kula is just looking like he's heating up. This looks like Sonny's game right here. The nice good, defense good steal by, by Marcelo Lewis Charles. Oh, he trips and slips. Oh. Looked appear to be going too fast, but that was good, good offensive, good offensive line by the box, and especially that three by Sonny. It was beautiful. Good hustle by the boxers right now. I think I think BC High would want to defend Sonny Akuma at the three point. Yeah, honestly. they need to. I think, yeah, I think he's gonna take more of those in this game. Yeah, they're looking to just give him that open three because they don't think he's gonna get it in. But his confidence is sky high right now, and he's looking to make every shot he can get. Yeah, Akuma now has nine points so far in this one. That's good. Exactly what the boxers need. There is a new substitution on the court, too, from the boxers. Yes, that is Josiah Davis, number 12. The senior. <laughs> Josiah Davis will press. And they called the foul. Josiah was a little bit too rough. It was still a good full court press by Josiah. Another press by Todd Robinson. DC High wanted to create some space. Sunny. Nice pick by Nkula. Seven on the shot clock. You got to jack up a three. Wow, what a shot. It. There's Nkula back on the other side. Another three. shot. And he gets it. It's the friendly belts. Nkula's feeling himself so far. Somebody needs to get Sonny a towel because he's, he's hot right now. Most certainly. Sonny with the hard defense. The DC high takes the a pick That was number 35, Ozzy Chapilo, the 6'8 junior. With the basket. Here's Todd Robinson on the shot. He'll miss. DC High a gets nice that mid -range. nice mid range shot. A nice mid range by Noah Rothar. Yep. 
Boxers are only up by two. That lead really shrunk. Ooh, Josiah Davis, Josiah Davis nearly missed the ball. Sonny Akula with, with another, another three. three. Wow, and he'll miss that one. BC High the other way. Nice defense by Todd Robinson. And there's a lot of substitutions now by the boxers. Four new players hop on the court. Coach Bowen giving Todd Robinson and, and Akula a little break. High arcing shot. And BC Noah Rothar nice with game. another basket, a keeping the BC Eagles alive. That's a good mid-range shot that they just took. Diamond Blakely in the paint, congested a bit. He'll miss. Nice defense by, by Kim Nichols. Here's Josiah Davis. And Josiah Davis is called for the carry. You see how he's looking to come back in this game as the game is tied. Here's a shot by BCI. A missed shot. Josiah Davis back the other way, looking to redeem himself after that turnover. He'll pass it. And Viking Nichols wasn't quite aware of it. This game is kind of slowed down right now. Is this still tied? Yeah, defense seems to, the defense seems to pick it up a little a little bit. Yes, by BC High. Nice passing by Brockton. Trenton Biddle for three. No good. Rebound by Nichols. He's blocked. And DeSantos with the layup. Nice layup. DeSantos with his, with his first basket as a two point lead for the boxers. The boxers are doing nice right now on the defensive end. Over here, locking up BC High as they got that nice fast break layup and it's doing good right now. But the boxes are only up by two so they do need to start picking it up. There looks to be a lot of frustration on the BC high bench. Yes. Coach, Coach Bill Lyon, Lyon, Lyon get into his plays a bit. You see how looking to create space. Stone by Tajan Silva. Another good steal now here by Here's Silva. He'll miss the layup. And it is a foul on the play. Viking Nichols is sent to the line. The two free throws. Looking to take his first free throw. He doesn't get it in. Vikim Nichols, what do you expect from him to um for the to contribute? What do you expect from him? 
I expect for him to be a monster in the paint. He needs to start getting his. He needs to start using his big body to the advantage and get it in. And he doesn't get the second free throw, but he does need to start using his body more. Nice pick by Tajan Silva. Substitution for the boxers. Zendon Curry and Sonny check back in. That may just be what the boxers need. I love, I love the, I love the height of, of Zendon Carrera and Sonny. Here's Sonny in the paint. A foul called on Sonny. A bit too, a bit too belligerent. Still a two-point lead for the boxers. About 150 remaining in the first half. Wow. It's a jump ball. Nice play from Diamond Blakely. That was good defense. No, it's oh, not no. a jump ball. It's going Brockton's way. Mm -hmm. And a little confusion on the court. And I think, nope, it's actually BC High's ball, but that was good defense. The, ref, the other ref looked to call a jump ball, but it's great BCI's awareness ball. from Diamond Blakely. Eight, seven, six, Five on five, the shot clock. Four. Here's Kennard. Trenton and Biddle on the drive, back to Blakely. Okula. Zenden Carrera, he'll get it. Oh no, he'll miss. It's going right back to the boxers. What do you think about the physicality so far in this one? I like the physicality. The boxers are doing good right now, trying to get the ball back in their possession, and they just need to start getting it out. Nice move by Okuna. BCI misses. Here's Trenton Biddle. A nice bounce pass to Blakely. Blakely will take the foul. shot. He's yep. fouled. That did look like a hard foul as he hit him on the shoulder. He's looking to take two at the line. Blakely Barely misses. Gets it Hits the front of the rim. And the Brockton High free throw troubles continue a little bit so far in the first half. Then you start sinking them in. He's looking to take a second one. He doesn't Misses get it that off. one as well. Sonny gets the rebound. Blakely for three. Nice. No good. Marquise De Santos on the press. Push, push. BC High looking kind of slow on their offense right now. The shot was no good by Kyle Peterson. Here's Trenton, Biddle. Diamond Blakely swings it to De Santos. Back to Blakely. And a deflection. That one will stay with the boxers. Eight seconds left in the first half. Need to get a shot off quick. Biddle, he'll take the shot. No good. 
That wasn't a that wasn't a possession what Brockton wanted. And now the first half is over. It's a tie game. It's a pretty good one. A lot of defense. Indeed, 26-26. Defense from both sides, BCI and Brockton. I think Brockton was more better on the defensive side, though. They had a couple steals. BC High, they need to get their offensive because their offense is looking a little slow, but so is the boxers. But hopefully both of the, both teams can make it happen. Who do you like to see step up and score a little bit more from I the think, boxers? I think Trenton Biddle, they need, he needs to start getting more. In the, I think Trenton Biddle needs to start getting more up in the, in the paint real quick because he is... He may not seem like a big guy, but I know he does do offensive, does some good offensive thing in the paint, so he's good. All right, all right, you heard it from us. And we'll be back here in the first half as Sonny Akula leads the way with the most points in the game. And, and it's not with, with about 9.40 to go in the first half. It's a tie game. BC High Eagles 26, Brockton Boxers 26. We'll be back. Sometimes the things we do or say can make others feel hurt, <laughs> excluded, or isolated. Everything you say and do creates an impact. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Because of you, someone's entire life can change. You don't have to be a superhero to have a positive impact. Friends? Friends. Boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, we are back here in, in the AZF in the AZF gym in Brockton, Massachusetts. It's a tie game, deadlocked at 26-26. Second half, made the best team win. What did you like about Sonny Yakula's game, Nathan? Uh, Sonny, he's doing he's doing good right now. He's making making BC High nervous right now. He's getting good threes, good inside shots, and it's doing good right now for him. Very good. Who else needs to contribute? Who hasn't? impacted the game for Brockton High. Like I said, I think Trenton Biddle, Mar Marcinell, they need to start coming back because they had a good game last in the last home game. They need to start they need to start contributing a lot. Yeah, Marcinell, he has zero points so far in this one. And he's that's him defending and BC High makes the mid-range. Starts it off with two. There's Todd Robinson. Marcinell Lewis for the three. That one went out of bounds. BCI's offense looks to start off slow. Another mid-range. Mid gets it. And BC High is really loving the mid-range jumpers. A, a lot of a, a lot of points scored for them on that shot. Indeed, they're taking it back a little bit. Marcinel wide open, doesn't get it. Front rims. Marcinel loses, misses another shot. Boxes need to start. Getting, they're doing good, yo. Actually, not even. BC High is doing very good right now from mid range, and they're doing they're doing very good. Then you start. Yeah, BC High is another mid range. That one's a, that one's an air ball, Re heavily rebounded by Akunla. I think BC High needs that. Akunla will control the paint, will control the point. Here, Todd Robinson for three, no good. Doesn't get it. And one by BC High. That's Kevin Keenan on the end one basket. BC High came came into the second half just 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 became a little bit smarter in the second half as they as they created some good baskets. And Keenan misses on the free throw shot. His Navon Reed. Akunla will take it. A miss. That's well defended by BC High. And that one will stay Brockton's way due to the toughness of Jason Starks. Here's Todd Robinson for three. Gets make it. We need to bring out more of those threes. Todd Robinson's first basket in the game. It is a 32-29 game for the BC High Eagles. Here's BC High, another take. 
a blocking foul was called. Keenan for the mid-range. Another mid-range shot. Another mid-range. We got some sharp shooters for the BZ High Eagles. BZ is killing it for mid-range right now. Marcin L. Lewis Charles with the take. And Bravo! Fumbled the ball a couple times. But he, but he is, but he's creating an impact so far in the second half. And he'll go to the line. Marcel looks to take his first shot. Gets it. And gets the second one. Now it is now only a three point lead for the BC High Eagles. Nice pickup by Starks. The smaller Starks on Keenan. BC High passed it into traffic, and now here's Brockton the other way. The layup was no good by Navon Reed. Good stop by Marcinelle. Boxers still looking to be aggressive in this game. And that's what they're gonna need to come back in the second half. BC High, looking to struggle a bit. Doesn't make it. Sunny with the rebound. There's Sunny Akula the other way. The shot was no good by BC High. Ooh. A call against Brockton. Good defense by Todd. Just taking a backcourt violation. Backcourt violation against against BCI. Great, great defense by Todd Robinson. I think the boxers need to come up with a strategy to full court press on BC High in order to get back in this game. Navon with the shot. Doesn't get it. Wide open shot, gets it. Bounces right back in. That's Mike Lauhan with the three for the BC High Eagles. Marcin Lewis Charles for three. Misses another shot. And talk about talk about the shooting percentage for Brockton. They missed a lot of shots on a lot of and a lot of open ones too. Yeah, they need to start getting these shots off. I remember last home game where Jason Starks took a lot of threes and he did not get all the threes that he wanted. And now it looks like Marcinelle's in that same position. Another missed layup. That looked like a power layup by Marcinelle, but he didn't get it through. Oh, Navon Reed, Navon Reed the other way. The Santos, ooh. Nice defense by BC High. Still boxes ball. 
Todd Robinson for three. Rebounded by Okula. Okula will Gets it up lightly put, put it in. The lead is back to three. PC High looking to fall apart right now. Akula now has 14 points in this evening. The boxers, they need to get back with it. They're doing good right now. And Sonny's looking like the peacemaker right now for BC High as he has 14 points as we speak. Sonny brings it up. Nope. Todd Robinson, actually. DeSanto. Navon Reed with another shot. Another missed close range shot from Navon Reed. His BC had the other way. And that one was blocked was by Navon Reed. But cleaned up again. It was a good block BC attempt. Navon Reed. Good it's layup that, by it's Navon. That layup. I think Navon wanted a foul on that, but he didn't get it. He did, he did show a little taunt against the ref. He, Ooh. A blocking foul against Okunla. It was a blocking foul, but I think Sonny just put his hands up and it was good. Navon Reed on the layup. That BC High layup. Navon Reed is doing Navon Reed needs to do more better on the defensive side, but I think on his offensive side he's doing just just as bit as he can. Brockton High in the 2-3 zone. That shot was no good. And here's Trenton Biddle. Biddle is fouled. Nice, nice aggression by Biddle. Indeed, Biddle brought it up, and he's. this is what we need from Biddle right now, but he just needs to get his shots off, and it's good. Biddle has three points. He'll go to the line. Looks to take his first shot. Gets it. It is a 38-36 game for the BC High Eagles. A two-point lead. Misses Doesn't the get second. the second one. That one's going BC Highway. Good defense by Trenton Biddle. That's the strategy that they need to do is that full court press. A three. Gets it's good. It. Mike Lahan. Mike Lahan has, has some big shots so far in the second half. There's Diamond Blakely. Trenton Biddle on the layup. It's good. Good layup. This is what we need to see from Trenton Biddle. The coach is loving what he's seen from him. Good defense by Boxers. Zenderin right into him. Zenderin really regrets that. That was a play he really didn't want. He should be a little more careful with his defense. It's a foul, but the boxers aren't happy with it. They had their hands up the whole time. Kyle. The boxers need to get their defense up right now because the BCI has a lot of threes that they're taking right now, open threes. Kyle Peterson will look to, he'll miss his first Front basket. Rims it.
Looks to take his second free throw. And gets it. Kyle Peterson connects on the second free throw. Stolen. Trent Biddle with the, the bad turnover. turnover. Oh. Boxers fought for it. And Diamond Blakely looks a little. Diamond looked to be a little shooken up, but he's up. There's perplexed faces on the looks on, on all the boxers, even the sideline. A four point lead for the BC High Eagles. Wide open a three, three for the BC High. He doesn't get it. There's Tajan Silva. Tajan Silva on the on the layup. Well defended by Breeze High. Zenden and gets Zenden the end one. Beautiful shot by Zenden. Good rebound by Zenden. So he takes one free throw at the line with the boxers. They need they're doing very good right now getting on offense. Zenden Correa with the beautiful rebound and the end one shot. That's exactly what that's exactly what the boxers needed. And Zenden got his free throw at the line. The press by Devin Blakey against the shorter. That's exactly what they need. BC High off offensive ball there. And it's a good defense by the boxers. And it's a timeout. A little happiness from the boxers. Indeed. BC High was very close to that eight second violation. Nice pickup by Diamond Blakely. Box is doing a lot better right now on defense in the second half. Coach Bowen discussing his plans. A one point lead for the BZ High Eagles. This one's looking like a good one. But with about 30 seconds, 38 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Zenden Carrera has four points. A floater is no he good by BC it. High. Zenden just throws it out. BC High gets that floater. Here's Diamond Blakely. Zenda Carrera could not get the layup to go. And oh, good block by Zenda wow. Carrera. What a block by Zenda Carrera. That's really what I love to see from that kid. He was right on top of that. Zenda always looks to be the defensive, the defensive option for the boxers right now. And he doesn't get it in. A three-point lead for the BC High Eagles. I think that third quarter was good. It was a good third quarter. Yeah. Oh, a bit sloppy, a bit sloppy, but... It, it was a bit sloppy, but third quarter, they look like the box is looking to get it back. But the boxes will take it. BC High, they're getting a little too many open shots. They made some of them, and they missed some of them, but... I think it's good on both ends. Speaking on the open shots, how is BC High getting so open? What's what's the mental lapse going on the against the, box, the box's offense? The boxes are not doing good with transition defense. They're not switching on their mans. I don't even think they're switching. I think they just need to stay on their mans. But I think it'll be good right now for the boxes. They just need to start playing better defense. The BC High Eagles are shooting at an effective percentage. They, they, they just nailed on all their shots. Indeed. They're just playing a sufficient game. 
And they're only up by three. But here we are in the fourth quarter. I like this lineup right here, putting Zenden and Sonny in the game together. Yes. I like it too. Of course, what he liked what he saw from Trenton Biddle, so he'll he'll start the fourth quarter. Indeed. And Biddle bites on the defense in a shot. Mid-range shot and he missed Zenden with the rebound. Here's Biddle. Marquise DeSantos for three. Misses oh, good. it. Zenden with the Zenden rebound. Zenden A nice strip by the BC High defender. That was Mike Lau here. Okunla to Carrera. Carrera cannot hold on to the ball. If you send the career, you really got to hold on to that ball, right, Nathan? Indeed, yes, he does. One down. Oh, nice Ooh, defense by Blake. defense by Diamond. And, and they're calling a timeout for BC High. BC only has one more timeout left in this last quarter. They need to use that wisely. As Brockton High still has five. Six fouls for the boxers. I think this will go in the boxers' favor, especially with BC only have one more timeout. He's look, he's BCI coach looking to discuss it with his players. What are some of the plans for the boxers? The boxers, they just need to start getting more on their they need to start getting more on their shots in. Their offense is looking sloppy right now, but hopefully they make the right transitions and they'll get it in. The coach actually wants to leave on Reed in. Navon Reed has four points tonight. Nice pass distribution from the BC High Eagles. Five on the shot clock. There's a shot. No good. Rebounded by Okula. Navon Reed. Good, good layup by Navon. And they're calling the foul against Diamond Blakely. Yeah, Diamond looked like he had a hand on him. Box is doing good offensively right now. A 44-43 a game in the Eagles' favor. The Eagles have the Eagles have had the league in this one for most of the game. Boxers are just looking to to finally open a deficit. Doesn't make the free throw. Sunny with the board. Sunny with the board. Here's Brockton the other way. Blakely. Oh, it doesn't get it off. They needed that. A nice Euro step layup, but he missed it. He's high looking to get a shot off. And a mid range. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. The Santos for three. three. No doesn't good. get it. We need those. DeSantos again. Here's Akula. A nice dish from DeSantos. It's a foul. It would have been a good and one, but he got it. Akula's going to the line. Looking to sink both these free throws. Boxers need both of them right now. Looks to take the first one. Doesn't get it. Akula misses the first free throw. Six minutes remaining in this one. Very close game. 
very close game right now. Looks to take his second free throw. Gets he'll get, it. He'll get the second one. That one's going blocked in the way. Good defense. Good defense by the boxers. And what about the stamina of Diamond Blakely? He's been in he's been in this game for most of the game. Indeed. I saw him talking to his players before they got in, before they end when they ended the timeout and he said, just be ready for it. Blakely. Diamond Blakely. Oh, this is it. It was good moves by Diamond, though. He doesn't Missed get the shot ball. by, and here's Marquise De Santos. De Santos Why? will take it. He'll miss it. Nice steal by Blakely. Good steal. Oh. He stepped out of, it bounds. out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds. That was a crazy, that was just a crazy exchange that just happened right now. Blakely's hustle is just looking alive in this one. Indeed, they need it. Sonny with the rebound. Well defended by Zenon Carrera. Here's Blakely. Navon Reed to back to Blakely. Oh! Sonny was not paying attention. Bad pass by Diamond Blakely. Indeed. Miscommunication between those two. Indeed. Another Good missed basket by, by Zenon. Jason Starks for three. No good. Jason Starks needs to get steam those threes. The layup doesn't is get the layup by Navon Reed. Wow. The shooting woes continue for Brockton High. It is a tie game. A lot of faults by Brockton right now, and it's another mid-range shot, and BC High gets it. It's another open. It's another open shot for BC High. A foul against. Corey Reynolds. I think BCI is doing good right now taking those mid-range shots because not many teams would expect to take not many teams would expect mid-range open shots like that. So they played good defense, but they still got it off. BCI is doing a good job on those screens. Indeed. Jason Starks for three. No good. Ooh, Another missed by Jason. On. A tight rebound from Zenon Carrera. Jason Starks has not been hitting all those three that he needed. Zenda Carrera with a tough basket. Get open, get open. Yeah. Another open, three. Doesn't get it. It was a travel by BC High. Japilo travels. Avon Reed, a difficult shot. It almost went in, but it doesn't get it off. About three minutes remaining in this one. Just loses the ball. Nice Zendin block with by another Carrera. block another by block. Zendin. They need those. Avon Reed. He'll get it. He'll miss it. Zendin Carrera is and it's foul. a foul on BC High. Looks like a hard foul. Brockton doing so much better on defensive side. Zendin Carrera with so many blocks in this game, I can't even count. Beautiful blocks by Zendin Carrera in these games. 
Zenon doesn't get the first free throw. But Zenon Correa is just a, a, a skinny but beautiful defensive anchor. Indeed. The boxers really need him right now. Carrera gets, gets the, the second, second one. He has five points in the game. I would love to see some more points from Zenit, but his defense is definitely holding up for it. The full court trap by Brockton. It's working. Is it working out? It out worked of out well. Bounds. Out of bounds. A nice pick up by Tajan Silva. The possession will go back to Brockton. Boxers needed that. To Todd Robinson. Starks. Jason Starks for three. Gets it. Jason Starks finally hits one of these threes that the boxers need. That made the crowd into it. It's a two-point game now. And... Beautiful defense right now by boxers. And it's a timeout. A timeout was called on the court. What about this? Boxers are doing rice right now on offense. What about this three offense. from Jason Starks? Jason Starks, oh, he's finally hit one of the threes that they needed. And that was the last, this is going to be the last timeout for BC High with the no more timeouts. As Brock the boxers are up by two. Brockton has a plenty full of timeouts with five. They're not using any of it, and I think that's working in their favor. A Coach smart. is just letting the boxers do, letting the players do what they need to do in order to get this win. And the players, they're playing like a team. There's no, there's no selfishness on the court. Indeed. Brockton. Of course there's not. Two eighteen left in this game. Very close. Very close. Jason Starks, that was his first basket. He has three points. We are back. That's a very smart, a very smart choice by Coach Coach Bowen to keep Jason Starks in the game. Smart, yes, indeed. He'll take it. Doesn't get the shot Does off. Does not get the friendly roll. And Akula getting a little frustrated in this one. A little talking and a little bitter, a little bitter. Sonny getting big with all his shots, with all his rebounds. Two point lead for the boxers. About two minutes remaining. A foul is called against BC High. And BC High, they had the lead for most of this game and kind of slipping away. Indeed. It's two at the line. No, that'll send Todd Robinson to the line. If he, he's a desperate free throws for the boxers. Indeed. BC High, they're they're doing good right now, but the boxers, their rebounds is nice. Sonny looked aggressive on that last rebound that he just had. Todd Robinson made the first free throw. Misses the second. Boxers only up by three. A three for BC High. No Doesn't good. get it. Rebound by Tajan Silva. Akula will hold it. Tajan Silva. A Todd three Robinson from Robinson. Three. Gets it. it. What a clutch Beautiful basket. Communication. What a clutch basket from Robinson. Beautiful communication by the boxer. Sonny with the beautiful defense. The box is doing so good right now. Todd Robinson with that three that he made right over. Patient Silva, well defensive. 
And it's a travel Tajin, on BC High. Tajin Silva causes him to travel. What great defense. Six point lead now for the boxers with 121 remaining. This is a good one. BCI is looking to do full court press right now as the game is getting very intense. Jason very starts. close. Navon Reed, he'll take it. He'll make it. Left handed layup. One minute remaining. This is a very intense game by both teams. Well Dave played. Henry with that left-handed layup. A well-played game by both teams. Indeed. The boxers still have yet to use any of their timeouts, which is very good. It's actually a technical foul against Marcinelle Lewis Charles. BC High will shoot one from the line. I was not aware of that technical foul, but they're gonna, that's gonna hurt the boxers, but they do not make the free throw. He'll miss it. He'll miss, uh, oh, he'll, he'll have another opportunity to make it. Another opportunity, and he'll make it. Appears he gets three free throws. Wow, I don't know what's going on. And it's a lot of confusion, and he doesn't get it anyways. He makes one out of three. It's a lot of confusion on the floor, but it looks like it's to be cleared up. BC High gets the ball back. And Brockton just, ooh, an elbow to, to Akula's face. And, and they didn't even they, call it. It's a three. It's still missed by BC High. Todd Robinson. There's Todd Robinson on the break. He's fouled. Wow. I kind of didn't know what I saw on the other end. Can you explain, Nathan? I'm, this is look just this a crazy play. game right now. It looked like an elbow to Ooh, Sonny, but looked, they didn't even call it. They did not call it. It's a crazy game right now. Wow. And now boxers use one of their timeouts. This game is very crazy, getting very crazy. This game intense. is getting very Ooh. crazy. Wow. This looks to be better than the last home game the boxers had. Yeah, the last home game, boxers started out strong but finished, but finished badly. And St. John's um, kept up the pressure and they won the game. Indeed. And and the Brockton High, they're actually, they, have, they actually have a lead against a better BC, BC High team. This team, this BC High team is better than that St. John's team. Indeed. But it is the boxes with a seven point lead. It's a good game. Ooh, Sonny, oh, Sonny and Kula just got hit, elbowed in the eye. He has a red eye right now. Ooh. Looking to tend to Sonny. I don't think he'll be getting in the game. And Todd Robinson to the line. He'll make his first free throw. Makes it. Makes his second one. Todd Robinson has nine points. 50 seconds remaining. BC high for three. No good. Rebounded by Carrera. A foul against BC high. This game is looking more intense every, every second. This game just got intense, yes. Zenden with the first free throw. Carrera will make it. And we got a whole new lineup for BCI. 
Wow, now this lead just came out of nowhere for the boxes. A 10 point lead. Can you explain a little bit, Nathan? 10 point lead. They're doing very good on defense and their offense. Is, they're doing full court press, just like how I said before in the, fir in the first half, and they're actually doing it. That's crazy. Zenon doesn't get his second free throw. And 40 seconds remaining for the BCI Eagles. They have a whole new lineup, so hopefully they can. This new lineup will be good for them. Here's the mid ranger. Doesn't get it. No good. Gets it right back, though. Another shot. No good. Air ball. Read out by Trenton Biddle. Jason Starks has it. The shot clock is turned off. Todd Robinson. BC High looks like they will not foul. With only 10 seconds left in this game. It looks like this game really came in well for the boxers' favor. As the boxers win 57 to 47 against BC High. 57 to 47. Man, talk about that that exquisite second half the boxers had. They played pretty flawless that second half. Indeed, the, before, the, half. before the second half, they were tied. I believe they went tied before the half. 26 and it was 26. Good. It was a 26 26 in, tie. Indeed. Right it was very good defense by Zenin Correa, very good offense by Sonny. That one clutch, that one clutch three pointer by Jason Starks. It was a very good game. Yeah, it was a really good game. You could, you could tell these Brockton High and BC are their rivals. They, they, they dislike each other. They have a dislike for each other. Indeed, it and, was. And we've seen it today. It was it, a good one. It was very good. And I believe this was this game really went to Sunny right now. This game really went to Sunny right now. They, boxers had very good blocks, very good defense. BC High had some good threes, but instead the boxers did come out. It was a good one, a 10-point win for the boxers. Indeed. Sonna and Kula had 15, and that's I'm Chris Bazil, and he's Nathan Bastouche. It was a good one. Have a good night, everybody.